There's a great deal of confusion amongst many people concerning the role of the botulinum toxin and the role of the injectable fillers. Actually, there's a big difference in between the two. The botulinum toxin will help us reducing the expression line, the dynamic lines that are created by the contraction of the muscles underneath. Traditionally, the Botox is used mostly in the upper part of the face for the muscle around here, the glabella, the forehead, and around the eyes. On the other hand, the injectable fillers are used mostly to reduce the lines, what you call the static lines, the lines that are created by the lack of collagen and the aging of the skin. And we use injectable fillers also to recreate volumes in, in, in the face. My approach with injectable fillers and botulinum toxin is very conservative. Less is better. So I prefer to keep a very natural appearance of uh, the face and just recreate a youthful look. Nowadays, we have a different approach with fillers. We try to see the face in a more three-dimensional approach compared to what we used to do years ago, where we would see the face in a more two-dimensional approach. So we don't really try to treat the lines, but we want to recreate the volume that have been lost with age, which is a very different approach. Having such a large variety of excellent products at my disposal, it allows me to choose the right product for the need of my patients.